Um, thank you for joining us for our Panther Perspective this week. Uh, we're going to be talking about how to prepare for Presidential Scholars Day. Um, so if you applied and you've been accepted and awarded the Presidential Scholarship, um, today we're going to talk about how to make the most of that scholarship event um, to maximize your scholarship opportunity. Today we have two of our admissions counselors here at High Point speaking, um, Annalie Henley and Elizabeth Parker. Um, so I will let them take it away and give you guys a little insight into presidential. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Um, Elizabeth and I are going to go over a few things. So we're going to go over what is Presidential Scholarship Day, what you need to wear, um, when you will get your interview time, who you're interviewing with, some typical questions that are going to be asked, and some best interview practices as well as what happens after the weekend. Um, so I will let Elizabeth take it from here and explain to you about what Presidential Scholarship Day is all about. Um, so this day is for you to come on campus. Um, it is a full day event. You get to hear um, Dr. Quibain speak. Um, you have breakout sessions with faculty, with staff. Uh, your parents have breakout sessions. We have an alumni panel. Um, so a lot of different events for you to kind of get a real feel for campus and kind of picture yourself as a student on campus is what I always tell um, my Connecticut students. Um, and then obviously the very big part of that day is to have your interview. Um, so you will interview um, with faculty from your declared major and students from your declared major as well. Okay. so. When you arrive for Presidential Scholarship Day, you're going to check in with our staff and you will get your check-in packet and it will tell you what time and what place your interview is going to take place. Check-in will begin at 8 o'clock to 8.30, so you want to get there and be prepared. Um, you will find out your interview time as well as your interview location when you check in. Um, so try not to reach out to your admissions counselor ahead of time and ask them um, for that information because at, until that morning, we do not know. Um, plan to stay for the whole day. Please um, make sure that you go to your designated location at your designated time um, to interview. The interviews typically last about 20 minutes, and then you can leave the interview um, and go to the next session that you are available or that is available for you. Um, parents will have their own sessions to attend, so you can meet up with your parents when you're done. Um, and ambassadors and staff will be around campus at all times, so you can walk over to your location and you don't have to get lost. I'm going to talk about what you need to wear. Um, so it is business professional. So, guys, that means jacket, tie, um, you know, preferably a suit, but if you don't, have one. Um, definitely have a button-down collared shirt on. Um, definitely have a tie, khakis, um, and dress shoes. Um, for the girls, you're going to need some type of cardigan, um, preferably a blazer. Um, collared shirt as well, some type of, um, you know, pants suit or skirt suit um, is also a good, um, a good option. For the girls, um, if you are going to wear a skirt or a dress, I definitely um, suggest checking the weather, bringing some tights, um, just because it can get kind of cold um, in February in um, North Carolina. And then for both girls and guys, um, if you are wearing shoes that you think are going to be slightly uncomfortable, but maybe they're your only pair of really nice dress shoes, definitely bring um, a change of shoes. So this is a very long day. You are walking quite a bit, um, and you can always change your shoes um, in your interview building. Leave them with a building manager, which will be one of the admissions counselors in our office, so we completely understand that, you know, you can kind of leave your stuff right there with us, um, but definitely bring a change of shoes, girls, if you wear heels, um, because like I said, there is a lot of walking, um, and the last thing you want to do is be uncomfortable. You should also bring Band-Aids just in case. Um, that goes for the guys as well. I know sometimes those dress shoes are not super comfortable, but again, business professional, 
Um, definitely layer. Like I said, it can be colder in the morning and get a little bit warmer in the afternoon. So you don't want to be hot and you don't want to be cold. Um, and like I said, once you're in your interview building, um, you can leave your stuff with us when you go into your interview room. So don't feel like you, um, you know, you have to have your parents hold it or you need to leave it in the car or anything like that, um, just because we will be able to watch your stuff for you. Okay. So what everyone is wondering about what the interview is going to look like and typical interview questions. Um, this is something that you can start preparing and working on now. Um, things, typical interview questions like, what are your strengths and weaknesses? Who has been your biggest mentor? Um, what are some things that, or what are three words that your best friend would describe you as? Um, we also, you know, ask certain questions like, how do you deal with pressure or stressful situations? Tell me about yourself is the most typical interview question um, that you're going to be asked. We as admissions counselors have the privilege of reading your application, but you're going to be interviewing with some professors and some current presidential scholars, and they haven't had a chance to get to know you like we have. So definitely um, start practicing these questions. Tell me about yourself. Why do you want to study what you put on your application? What are your greatest strengths? What is your weakness? Tell me about a time that you made a mistake. Who is your mentor and what is a quality that you really, really admire about them? Um, I always like to go over um, questions, write them down, think of different stories that I could bring up, practice in the mirror. I also like to maybe videotape myself when I'm doing these questions. Am I saying um a lot? Am I fiddling? Oh, you're going to be wearing a mask. So body language is going to be an extremely important. And the most important question that we ask that you will be asked by every single attend or every single interviewer is what is your definition of growth mindset? That is something that's really big here on our campus and we want to know what your definition of growth mindset is and how you de demonstrate that in your daily life. Some professors are going to just have a conversation with you. They just want to get to know you. Those are the easy interviews. Some professors are going to be a little more structured with their questions. This is, you've already been accepted. This is not something to stress out about. We just want to get to know you a little bit more um, and see you shine outside of your application. Um, when you're wearing a mask, it's going to be a, a very uncomfortable. That is for your safety and for others' safety. Um, but make sure that you, if you are wearing jewelry, if you have a watch or a hairband, don't play with it during your interview. Um, sit straight and enunciate your words. Sometimes it's going to be hard to hear you in the mask. Um, the professors know that you're nervous, so they're not going to intimidate you any more than you are. So this is just a conversation, a time to get to know you better. And always be prepared for a curveball question. You can Google these. What are typical curveball questions? Things like, what was the last book that you read? What is a character um, in a movie that you love? My favorite curveball question to ask my students is, what is your favorite music album or who is your favorite um, artist and why. Other questions can be, um, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you travel? So start thinking outside of the box when it comes to interview questions. They're talking about best interview practices. And um, so be sure that you, um, when you arrive on campus, we'll be giving you business cards um, with your name, with uh, your email address. So make sure you're giving a business card and then ask for your interviewers um, their emails so that you can send either a, a thank you email, a phone call, um, a card in the mail. That's always nice as well. Um, this is also an opportunity if you have follow-up questions for your interviewers, right? So this, these are going to be people who are in the field that you're interested in and you already have a um, point of contact with them. 
so this is another way for you guys to get um, questions answered. Like Elizabeth mentioned, the follow-up is really important. This is a day, this is a Saturday in the week. Professors typically have the day off, um, so they are coming to meet with you because they love meeting prospective students. They love working with their students. So um, make sure that you follow up with them. Send a thank you letter. Send a thank you email. It is so important and it really does show that you value their time um, and you're going to make some great relationships with these professors too so it's good to start that relationship as well. Um, after the Presidential Scholarship Weekend it will take about two weeks to three weeks to receive your scholarship um, increase notification so contact your admissions counselor if you have any direct questions um, regarding that, but be prepared to wait about two weeks to receive that increase. Um, you will receive your financial aid packages in March. That will include merit-based aid, um, any fellowships that you've received, um, as well as any need-based aid that you're eligible for and loans that you're eligible for as well. So um, always have that conversation with your admissions counselors. That's what we're here for. And we want to go ahead and open up this time for any questions. Am I able to bring my resume with me for the interview? Yes, that is a great interview practice to have. Um, even if the professors that you're interviewing with do not ask for the resume or they might not take it, that's a great practice to bring your resume and bring them. I always take at least eight copies to my interviews that I go to. Um, that way, I have one for myself and one for my interviewers um, that I'm talking with. So bring your resume, have it in a little portfolio. Um, if you don't have a portfolio, bring it in a folder um, and carry it around with you. That's a great interview practice that you can have during Presidential Scholarship Weekend and a great habit to start forming for when you start interviewing for internships as well as future jobs as well. Great. Um, sixth question, would love to hear um, your opinions on when students are being interviewed, what should they do with their hands? Um, I, when I'm getting interviewed, I usually have my hands kind of in my lap. Um, I talk with my hands a little bit, as long as you're not kind of like flailing around, I think that's okay. Um, but definitely no fidgeting, don't have your hands in your face and things like that. Um, I definitely think in your lap is probably the best practice. Um, but I, like I said, I kind of, I kind of talk with my hands a little bit and I think, I think that's okay. Someone asked, um, on average, how much money does someone receive from the weekend? And another similar question are, um, is, are all students eligible for this, that full tuition increase? So these increases can be anywhere between $1,000 and a few full tuition scholarships and everything in between. Um, so when we're increasing a student scholarship, there's a lot that goes into it. We've already reviewed your unweighted GPA and your test scores if you submitted them. We also look at your course rigor and your school rigor. How many AP honors, dual enrollment, IB courses are you taking? versus how many that your school offers. We also look into your extracurriculars and how well you interview. Um, so the professors will be making notes during your interview. That is not to intimidate you. That is just to remember how well you've done. And then based on all of those factors, you will get an increase. Um, if your acceptance letter stated that you're eligible to compete for one of those 100 full tuition scholarships, you are interviewing for one of those spots. Um, we only give out 100, which is a very large number compared to last year. Um, so just be prepared um, and, and do your best and have fun. Um, it takes about two weeks to receive that. So um, just stay patient. And as long as you come into presidential prepared with a good attitude and be yourself, that's all we're asking. Next question, um, if a student is undecided, who would they be meeting with in terms of faculty? Um, I know that you spoke about if you're a business major, you'd likely be interviewing with business faculty. So what can undecided students expect? 
Um, they are usually going to be paired with um, majors that don't have quite as many students coming to interview. Um, so you could potentially be interviewing with ed the education department and um, students within that department, psychology, some of our departments that don't um, have quite as much volume as you know business or biology or something like that. Um, one thing I would ask a, a student if I'm undeclared um, is, were they undeclared when they came in, and how did they, um, how did they figure out what they wanted to major in? How did High Point University help support them in that? Um, so, undeclared students sometimes it can be a little bit tough to come up with questions, especially if you're not asking any, you know, related directly to that major that you, you declared on your application. Um, so keep in mind things that we have said we will support you in as a university and ask students how um, they felt supported. Did they change majors? Was it hard? Um, how did their success coaches, you know, help them with um, declaring a major or just solidifying the fact that, you know, they wanted to be a business major, an education major. And um, so those are some questions for uh, undeclared students to think about. Next question, um, so do you, we have a time frame of when students can expect to get the schedule for the day um, slash their um, interview time? So when will they get their schedule for the day and their interview time? So you will get a brief schedule about a few, or a few days before the scholarship weekend. But like I mentioned earlier, you will get your interview time and the location of your interview when you check in on campus Saturday morning. Um, so be sure to look in that folder and you will see your interview time. Be prepared to stay the whole day. Okay, great. Um, so for girls, would you guys recommend um, a pantsuit for the, in for the interview or um, a jacket and shirt? What would you say is like best practice um, for girls' day? I would say whatever looks most professional. Um, so and whatever you feel most confident and comfortable in. Um, you know, you don't want your skirt to be too too short. So definitely keep that in mind, um, but definitely whatever you look most professional and feel, I think, most um, confident and comfortable in is what you should wear that day. Awesome. Um, next question. So if students are asked, do you have any questions at the end of the interview, um, what are some things that they can have on hand prepared to ask for their interview panel? So some great questions to ask are, what are your favorite um, what is one of your favorite memories on campus? Why did you choose to attend High Point or why did you choose to come and work at High Point? You're going to be interviewing with two professors, one to two professors, and one current presidential scholar at High Point University. So you can ask them questions of why they enjoy working at High Point or why they chose to attend, what they are looking for in an ideal student. Um, questions like, who is, why did they choose the major that they chose? Did they ever change their major? Um, things like that. Great. Um, and to clarify, um, you will be interviewing one time with the panel consisting of current students and faculty. Um, so you will just be interviewing one time. You wouldn't have multiple interviews. Um, another question, um, since I'm an interior design major, am I able to bring a portfolio of my artwork that I've done in my art classes for this interview? Yes, that never hurts to bring a portfolio of some of your work, especially if you're in a certain discipline like studio art or interior design or um, graphic design. Um, they might love to look at your work. They might not have time to look at your work. It really just depends on your professor and what time your interview is. Um, but that's always a great thing to bring and maybe two copies of it, if you have copies. Um, should our parents be with us or walk with us to the interview or will there be some time besides the interview um, that students will be alone? So I personally would not bring your parents to the interview because what they're going to do is just kind of wait in the lobby um, for you to finish your interview. 
If you feel more comfortable or if you're super, super nervous, of course, bring your parents, whatever it needs, whatever you need to feel comfortable. But um, you will be in certain sessions where you'll have to get up and leave to go to your specific interview time and place. Um, so I would go by yourself. It's also a really great time to meet current students while they're waiting for their interview times as well. Um, so you can start conversation with other students on campus. So I would just say that's up to your discretion, but then parents also have sessions where they can attend and you don't want them to miss out on those parent specific presentations. Awesome. Um, Another question, um, do you think it's appropriate to bring a notepad to take notes while they're asking, while asking them questions at the end? Um, I think that is, that is showing that you're very interested in what they have to say. Um, one thing to add about the questions and kind of to tie in with the notepad, um, those of you in science or social sciences, um, asking professors and students what type of research they're doing, um, that is uh, something that one, they will really like to talk about, and two, like I said, showing a lot of interest um, in what we're doing at High Point and probably being able to add in some of your own experiences that you've had um, as a high school student. Um, so I definitely think that taking notes um, about what they have to say and, and what they're doing and, and teaching and whatnot, um, I think is okay. Um, and then always ask, hey, I brought a notepad. Is it okay if I, I take notes? And most of the time they're going to say, of course, that's fine. Um, I did want to make everyone aware that with COVID protocols, um, in a typical non-COVID environment, yes, a handshake is the most important thing that you will do. But right now, we ask that you do not shake hands um, with the people that you're interviewing with. Um, just to keep everyone safe. You can always do an elbow um, if you want to, you know, when you're saying goodbye, but um, no handshaking at the moment. All right. And for our last question, um, and what's the best way to kind of get the information, uh, the contact information of their interviewers uh, so that they can follow up with them and send you thank yous? Most of your interviewers, especially faculty, they will have um, business cards themselves. If not, you can always jot their emails down on the back of one of your business cards, or if you do take, um, you know, notes or anything like that, you can you can always write those down. Um, also, keeping in mind your faculty um, name and your interviewers' names. You can always reach out to your admissions counselors and we can provide contact information. Um, you can also find um, contact information on the website. Um, so all of our faculty members have um, emails and phone numbers listed. So um, feel free to look there as well. Um, I did wanna say any questions that you didn't get answered today, please, please, please reach out to us. Um, us being your admissions counselors, that's what we're here, is to provide you support. Um, this is supposed to be a really fun day. Um, yes, you have an interview. Yes, that can be nerve-wracking. Um, but you definitely want to get a feel for if you can see yourself as a student on campus. Um, and anything that we can do to make this day a positive experience, um, that is what we're here for. Um, so please reach out with any unanswered questions. 